Hi friends, Dr. Busy Riley coming at you live from the den of insanity, AKA my office. See, there's Cooper. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about some things that I'm seeing happening in my practice. I see a lot of men and women come in here telling me that they're very fatigued in the afternoon. And I wanna be clear with most people about what's happening. If you are a coffee drinker, and you do not eat a lot in the early part of the day, you are going to crash in the afternoon. And I wanna explain what's going on with you. Don't forget that coffee is an appetite suppressant. I drink coffee, I am a very proud coffee addict, but you have to eat when you drink coffee because if you don't, what it's doing is it's spiking stress hormones and that's what makes you feel so good and makes you feel like you can take on the world, but it also artificially braises your blood sugar. And so it tricks you into thinking that you're actually satiated with food which you are not. So you have to make sure that if you're a heavy coffee drinker, you're eating consistently throughout the day. So here's a cute little picture of what happens with your cortisol levels. This is my terrible handwriting. Nice and high in the morning within a couple hours of rising, low at night so that you can sleep. That 12 is actually midnight. So when you're drinking coffee, what you're doing is you're furthering this cortisol spike, um, but cortisol is designed for periods of starvation. So when that cortisol wears off and the caffeine wears off, what you see is that your blood sugar is actually really low underneath that. So the way that you take care of this is not only by being moderate with your coffee intake, sometimes moderation is a good idea, but also by making sure that you eat protein and fat with every meal, so at least eat breakfast, at least eat lunch, and try to have an early afternoon snack because if you're one of those people who gets into the danger zone with high carb snacking in the afternoon, making sure you have a high protein, high carb snack in the early afternoon is a really good way of avoiding that crash. Dr. Busy Riley, live like you give a damn.